What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here, so today we're back with Funko News with lots of updates, new announcements, and other stuff coming soon. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I do hope you're having a wonderful day today. So we are going to be going over some Funko news today and we do have lots of new things hitting stores, new announcements, new exclusives, and so much fun stuff that I can't wait to show you. Of course, before we jump into that though, we have our question of the day and that is, do you own a Funko Bobby in your collection that's holding a book? And I'm going to go with Crollo here. Okay, so first things first, let's start off with the Funko Shop here. So over in their new drop section, we did have some exclusives and commons. One of the recent Funko Shop exclusives was Alice with T there. We also do have the brand new Tokyo Ghoul Ryu Common Wave, and one of those does have the Chance at Chase, if you guys do want to go over there and order it. And then we did have a couple music pops as well. And on this next page, we do have the Jaw Rule Funko Pop, the Eric Draven with Crow Glow, Mobius with Jet Ski, and a couple other things from TMNT. Next, for Saucery, the Funko Shop exclusive from the Akatsuki line in Naruto, this one's actually dropping tomorrow, Monday. And it's definitely going to be a very interesting one. Very curious to see if this one ends up selling out just like Marco. I personally don't think it has the hype level of Marco, but it's still a very popular character. And if you don't know, there's only 12,000 stock available and Marco had 20,000 and sold out in like 30 seconds. So it is very possible that Saucery can sell out. So let me know in the comments below, do you think this one will sell out tomorrow or do you think it will stay in stock? That is just the stock for the website. Somebody was asking me this question the other day. 12,000 is just for the website. We also have overseas stock. We also have Funko Hollywood stock and Funko HQ stock. I personally can't wait for the drop. I would definitely love to add Saucery to the collection, but let me know if you're going after it. Moving on, we do have an update from the Harry Potter NFT set here. So happening on January 23rd at 11 a.m. PT, we will have our Harry Potter NFT drop, and these are your seven redeemables with Freddy as a Death Eater in the middle. Now this is one of the sets that I'm very curious to see also if it ends up selling out because some of the recent NFT ones like the Squid Games for example, I think they ended up burning like 22,000 packs, basically half of what they actually put out there. And to be fair, I mean, Squid Games is not even popular right now. It was a really weird time to drop it. I think everybody can kind of agree on that, but Burning packs isn't necessarily a terrible thing, and I saw somebody comment this, and it made me actually realize that, was that when they burn the packs, it makes it even more limited of how many pieces they're actually producing. Though, of course, it's obviously going to be very hard to see what an exact count of on all these exclusive and limited pops are. But anyways, that's all besides the point. This Harry Potter drop, I think, is going to be one of the best ones they had for sure. Harry Potter's immensely popular, and it's still crazy popular even today. They haven't produced a movie in a while. Plus, I think Funko has a great lineup of exclusives here, so I think it has a fair chance. Moving on for Star Wars fans, we do have a brand new exclusive here. So check this out. We do have the 501st Clone Trooper Phase 2 there. So, unknown exclusive at the moment, and I do believe this is actually a flashback pop. I think people were commenting, not much of a Star Wars guy myself, but I can read comments and kind of use context clues there. So let me know if you guys are excited about this one, and I'll definitely let you guys know where it's exclusive to once we find that out. Now, we do have a quick update for Target Con 2024. It does look like this event could be happening on February 18th, and here's at least two of the exclusives you will see there. And that includes 10-inch Umbreon, as well as 10-inch Son Goku, the Tailed Beast from the Naruto line. And again, that Son Goku looks fantastic. Definitely already some great exclusives. I knew they were going to do a 10-inch Umbreon either way, and I think it's perfect for Target. What I really like about the 10-inch Son Goku pop from Naruto is that it's actually going to Target, which makes it easy to walk in a Target store and pick that one up. I mean, Naruto's popular, obviously, but I don't really know how many people are going to be buying the 10-inch tailed beast, solely because of how much space it takes up, but then again, it could be very popular. Anyways, though, both of these are expected to be Target Con drops next month, so make sure to stay tuned for now. And speaking of retailer drops, over at Hot Topic, we do have two possible exclusives dropping at the end of this month on January 29th, and that is Zoro Nothing Happened, which we've shared in a video in the past, and then the brand new Kermit and Constantine 2-pack here, which is just a hilarious meme that Funko created. I am definitely all for Funko continuing to make meme pops. I think that's really great. One of my favorites is obviously the Spider-Mans pointing at each other. I actually still need to grab that for the Spider-Man collection though. But anyways, at the very least, I do know that Zoro is expected around the 29th of this month to go live on the Hot Topic website, as well as start hitting stores the same week. 
As far as the Kermit two-pack, though, given it kind of leaked around the same time, I'm only speculating that it might release around the same time, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys as updated as possible on that one. Now, also over at Hot Topic, I did want to let you guys know a couple things did restock, and that was FNAF Pops here. So we did have the Sun and Moon, as well as the Blacklight Freddy Fazbear and Foxy there. So the one I wanted to mention mostly here is the Sun and Moon Pop, just because it's like a $40 to $50 pop on eBay, Mercari, and all those other seller sites and things like that. So it was worth mentioning that this one restocked for retail. And if you do need this one, I recommend going to Hot Topic and picking it up before the pre-orders sell out because it sold out previously because of FNAF fan and I fully expect it to sell out again eventually. A quick update from My Hair Academia and I also talked about My Hair Academia in yesterday's video which I recommend you go check out because we have lots of new pops coming in the next week and so much fun stuff. But with My Hair Academia especially, we do have a new set scheduled to drop this Wednesday. And in that set, we should be seeing Tomura in the chair as well as Dobby with flames here and a bunch of other things. But the reason I'm bringing up My Hair Academia in this video is because a lot of you have been asking me about this Burnin' Glow exclusive. And just so you guys know, this one is no longer an FYE exclusive anymore. Basically, FYE decided that they didn't really want to sell pops anymore, so I think them and Funko are slowly parting ways. My best guess on Burnin' here would be that she's going to eventually end up on the Funko shop and maybe announced with this new My Hero Wave Wednesday. Again, though, that is a strong maybe. I'm kind of just speculating here. It would make sense because it was set to be a standalone exclusive, but since the whole exclusivity is kind of messed up now, I think Funko would benefit from actually announcing it with this next wave. Plus, in that wave, they're making Mirko and Burnin and Mirko kind of fall on the battlefield. Not together exactly, but they all fought together. So technically, you could put the characters at the same time. Anyways, though, that is the best update on Burnin right now. Once I get any more information, I will let you guys know. But I apologize that we don't have a better update. Alrighty, so we do have updates from Box Lunch stores here. So lots of new things are hitting Box Lunch stores. So we do have the Snap, Crackle, and Pop moment from Rice Krispies, some of the new Harley Quinn pops, as well as ad icons and retro toys like the Viewmaster, Cornelius, and Coco the Monkey. And then we also do have the brand new If You Have Ghost album, Michael Jackson, Conan from Naruto, and some of the Pocket Pop keychains of Itachi Uchiha Moonlit and Pain. And other things hitting box lunch stores do include the new Black Clover Common Wave, which does have Mimosa, Julius, Klaus, Fuego and Asta with Nero. And here's also an out of box look at all of them. They are looking really great. I love Julius's time magic. Again, make sure to check your local box lunches and follow them on Instagram. This is where you can find all these photos and see what your box lunch or even hot topic as well has in stock. But happy hunting to you guys and I hope you guys find anything that you're looking for here. And the last thing we do have are some closer looks at upcoming pops like the Ghost Rider comic cover from Target. Definitely looking really neat, but a missed glow opportunity. And then we do have looks at the brand new Meliodas with Hawk there. I will say, I kind of agree with someone now that Hawk does look a little odd in the little miniature pop form. I don't know what it is there, but the it's just like something on the face makes Hawk look slightly off in pop form. Either way, I'm definitely grabbing that one because I love Hawk's character. Well guys, those are all the news updates I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any further questions about anything we just discussed, drop those comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. But with that, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters on the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure to follow me on all my social media. It's at Skiddo Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.